Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to a playlist of Honkai Impact 3rd animations. I believe this is every animation up until patch 5.0, but I could be wrong. Um, I will warn you guys, however, I did see a couple of these cutscenes before and I didn't really think much of them. But since I've been playing a hell of a lot of Genshin Impact, I'm really intrigued by the universes and I'm trying to find similarities and possible ways that they may be connected. So I am really anxious to get into a lot of these cutscenes. If you guys do enjoy the reactions, don't forget to give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And let me know how you feel about all of this down in the comments below. So with that out of the way, let's get into the videos. I don't even have to click the play button and there's already action going on. Getting uh, Raiden May here getting choked out already. Jeez. <laughs> Ursher of the Void. Jeez, dude, just the animation and the eyes, right? You can just see the eternal conflict, like, already. That laugh, though. You better get out of there, man. Shit's about to go down. Introduction of our first Honkai beast. That shot? Yeah. <laughs> they really toned things down for Genshin Impact, didn't they? Anti-entropy, I believe. I think that's what those mechs are. I could be wrong on that. She looks so damn badass, man. I really love that character design. That walk. Seen that recently in the uh, Raiden uh, A, I guess. Raiden Shogun animation for Genshin Impact. You know, somebody's like walking on thin air, right? That they're uh, not to be trifled with. Good for an animation too for a mobile game. You know the heavy metal like guitars and everything in the background. It's freaking sick. That's not good. I think this was a fantastic way to, like, start off the game, too. So it really shows you just how damn destructive and intimidating the Hershers were and how powerful they were. And the music just fits so damn perfectly, man.
can't remember the dragon's name for the life of me right now, but I do know it. <laughs> what a way to kick it off, though. It's just like, yeah, you do not mess around with the Hershers. And then the glance, right? Yeah. So this one I've seen, I still think that's badass as hell, though. Shit, man. Ah. Uh, and this one I've seen as well. But, uh... It still hits every... Every damn time I see this. Hey, Miko. Marana. Starts off so damn good too. This scene is amazing. <laughs> She's so damn sick, man. What a badass character, honestly. Absolutely love her. Complete badass boss, like so sick. Honestly, Himiko is the only one that could have, like, confronted Yana at this point, in my opinion. The only one that honestly was able to make a difference, was able to take her down and put her in her place. Maybe Fuhua, but, uh, we'll go with Himiko because she's incredible. She needed to, I mean, she's the master, right? Yana was her, uh, student. <laughs> oh yeah, Sam. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's right. Be afraid. <laughs> Instant chills. <laughs> As soon as that music kicks in, man, immediate chills. Kian, <laughs> If only Kiana knew what she was doing, right? Fucking <laughs> badass. So sick. <laughs> Animation on her face. Shosa, 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 Shosa. Himeko, I'm the best Valkyrie. Oh, oh, oh. Let's fucking go, dude! Hell yes! Hell yes! Complete badass, man. One of the best animations ever. I don't care. Hands down. So damn sick.
授業はおしまいよ。Gave her the injection that she needed. Get rid of the Hong Kai energy. Man, this never gets any easier to watch. I was like, holy shit. Character, man. Oh, dude, the scene gets me every damn time. Every damn time. Fucking one of the best characters in that game ever. Absolutely incredible, man. And, and no matter how many times I watch that scene, it honestly makes me tear up. And I, I like, I honestly, I, I can't tell you guys, man. My fucking heart just pounds. And it's like I just, I lose words and I have trouble breathing every time I see that. And I'm not. Just fucking talking it up every time I see that because of how much that character means to me. Fucking sick character. Absolutely sick character. And the music, just everything, the animation, everything, man. Incredible. I really hope that there's more Himiko as I go forward in the story as well. But uh, let's get on to the next video. Damn, dude, that was freaking hard to watch. Every single time, that's hard to watch. Now, this one's still extremely fresh to me as well, because I just recently watched this as I was uh, completing chapter 11 EX or something. I think I'm still gonna find this one, so. This is all to do with, uh, like, World Serpent and everything, I believe. Or Grey Serpent. Something like that. Alright, oh, this is the Amazing Grace. Come on, I remember this. I don't know if I'm gonna get dinged for copyright or anything on this, but, uh... <laughs> we'll go with it. It's still pretty badass that she appears there to, uh, you know, give her the motivation she needs. Unleash her, her sure power, but also still keep it in check. It's extremely important for her. Short and sweet, but still damn good. Reburn, I think, was... Probably the last one that I saw? Or is it? Maybe not. No, it's not. It's definitely not. I don't even remember seeing this one. Or do I? I honestly, I don't think I remember this one. <sighs> that May she's speaking to? Was that a Himiko uh, can behind her in the vending machine as well? I think I seen something like that. It's got riding May on it. Or not. That's where I'm sorry. Yeah, I definitely did not see this cutscene. You <laughs> come to get me. So damn childish. I like it. I 
why is Kiyama be gotta be like so damn sick? Like honestly. She changing to the uh the moonlit? Uh moonlit something or moon moon beat, I don't know, moonlit something. I remember the battle suit. It's probably one of my favorite ones that she has. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that one. I don't know why. Or maybe it's not in the game. I don't know, but uh, I've definitely not seen that cutscene yet. It was really good. Really good. like the animation on it. The, uh, the little... Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, starting off playing Honkai Impact as well, I didn't really think that I was going to, like... Really develop like feelings for for Branya of all the characters, but uh, her couple of chapters, especially the ones that really focused on her, I, I can't remember exactly which chapters they were. But holy hell, man, they really, really made me love that character. So the first like starting like opening chapters, I was kind of like, eh. But she ended up turning into be like an extremely, extremely badass character. Also, don't remember seeing this one. I have a feeling that this is probably prior to her entering the uh, Sea of Quanta, possibly. Crystal flies or whatever the hell they are. Engine. And I'm probably gonna guess that that's maybe, uh, Seelie calling out to her, possibly. From within the, uh, the Sea of Quanta. Again, I could be wrong on that, I don't know. See, a quantum knows where things get a little bit, like, weird. With all, like, the bubble universes and everything. It's a little bit harder to follow, like, uh, with the narrative and everything, I find, but, uh, really enjoyed it. Because this is the point where things start to possibly connect again, Shin. Oh, right, right, right. That's where she's going for the, uh... It's called the key or something? Is it the key or the gem? The gem of desire? The gem of reason? One of them.
I remember the scene. This is where she becomes the, uh... She doesn't become a archer or anything, does she? I can't remember what it is. She gets, like, that freaking badass, like, motorcycle... ...battle suit. Which is really fun to play in-game, too, actually. But I feel like this was uh, Joaquin's power or something prior. Such a damn good animation, though, man. Like, just like everything and how it's drawn. As soon as I saw her, like, have wheels on her feet, I'm like, she's gonna turn into a motorcycle. I, <laughs> I just knew immediately. Really reminiscent of, like, a Shiva from Final Fantasy XIII. Pretty camera angles and everything, though. So, like, so damn well designed. I don't know how they come up with this shit. But I'm extremely grateful that they do because it's so damn sick to watch. Again, another crotch shot. Uh, really appreciate it, Mahoya. <laughs> Big time Tron vibes. So sick. So sick. When I saw this scene initially, I was like, alright, Ranya's badass. She won me over, 100%. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's like for sure reason. I feel like that's what it is. And I can't quite remember the exact title. But again, incredible animation. Uh, let's get on to the next one. I'm just gonna skip out this, uh, outro. I don't think there's anything else in this, right? I don't believe there is. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, moving on. Next one. Seal. I think her banner's currently up right now. At the time of recording this, at least. They're doing like a rerun or something for her. Guard has a mix or something like that. Which looks really sick. And I was gonna pull on the banner, but uh, I think I might hold it up just in case I do like a, a ride and a rerun. Medical monsters. I love it. I 
was kind of wondering when I first saw that too. I'm like, who took her hand off? But I think it's the, uh, like, she's got, like, not a split personality, but, like, some sort of, like, entity. It's kind of, like, hidden or buried deep within her. And, yeah. And then when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay. This is what they were talking about in the storyline. Um, I just don't, I still don't know. Like, what that personality is within Seal. If it's just, like, some kind of, like, evil or if it's Honkai related or whatever it is, but, uh... It's pretty damn sick when it takes off. <laughs> Again, another one of my favorite characters with all like the uh, the passion in the scene and just how like angry she is. She's just completely determined to save Branya. It's, it's really, really powerful. And using her character in game is awesome. It's extremely quick to move around the battlefield and everything. And like, she doesn't really have to be paired up against any certain like type of enemies or whatever. I think they're all like weak to her. I absolutely love that she will sight too. One shot. Completely decimates that monster. Again, that's how you know that Seal's not a force to be reckoned with. As soon as that latent power takes over, man, that's it. Shit is going down. So damn sick. Again, I don't think there's anything else in this one, and doesn't look like it. Alright, let's move on. Next one is... York Salvation. Now, not sure if I've seen this one or not. Oh wait, I have, I have, I have. This I believe is like the end of the, uh, is it Arc City or something? Arc City story arc. It's got some uh, pretty damn sick hardcore parkour by Kiana. Great visuals and like really cliche scenes, I guess, for certain animes. So I'm pretty sure this is where she, uh, <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> this is where she's going to the, uh, the tower or something, I believe, to get rid of a bomb. I think that has, like, a, a mass of, like, Honkai energy or something that they're going to use to, like, destroy the citizens of Ark City, um, in order to create a rebirth or something, I believe, if I was reading stuff correctly. Which it probably wasn't. Um, but again, pretty damn sick. A odd choice for them to give her a baseball bat of all weapons. But, uh, <laughs> I'm about it. I like it. I think this is the scene that you get after your battle with Raven. <laughs> Bullets, no problem, I have a wooden baseball bat. 
Super cool, man. Unleashing that Hong Kai power. A Hersher power, I should say. Again, right? A lot of cliche scenes, and she loves to do that backflip. I think that's probably two or three times now that we've already seen that same backflip from Kiana. But again, I like it. She doesn't even look at the explosion because she's a total badass. She gets to the bomb in time. Again, man, the music is just so perfectly timed. Here we go. Once again. Letting Kiana know. She's gotta do what she's gotta do. And I should be proud of her for doing it. So damn determined to save everybody that she's willing to sacrifice herself to get this damn bomb out of there. The significance of the eye color change when she becomes a Hersher of the Void. Letting you know that she's still in control. Hell yes. So sick, man. Again, Goosebumps chills like my hairs are standing up on ends. I love, and I'm a complete sucker for anything to do with, like, space. So when I see stuff like that, and just the imagery, right, of, like, the, the, the bomb off in the sky and everything, and it's, you can see the impact waves and the clouds and shit. That's so sick, man. So damn sick. Friggin' piano. Right in the feels, man. Right in the feels. Coming chapter for me, my playthrough. I think she's supposed to be one of like the uh, the higher up ranking Valkyries, if not probably the top ranked Valkyrie. And I think that the chapter that I have to play through with her, chapter 15, revolves around her. So I'll be extremely excited to learn a little bit more about Randall, because I literally know, like, not much else outside of what I just stated. And again, 
I don't even really know a whole lot outside of, like, a little bit of his intentions in terms of Kevin Kaslana. But I got a feeling that he's going to play a very important role when it comes to, like, relating the two universes of Genshin and Honkai. Because he really has a lot of similarities to Aether and Lumine, in my opinion. I've seen this cutscene. I've not hit this point in the story, but I've seen this cutscene just because it was recommended to me so much in YouTube's like uh, video recommendations. Every single time I hit the homepage, this was popping up, so I was like, well, I'll check it out. For anybody that knows me or watch any of my previous reactions involving Genshin, I absolutely love the Raiden of Lightning, any kind of Raiden, Mei, Raiden A, anything. So, whenever I see Raiden Mei in a cutscene, I'm like, yeah, that is my character. She looks so sick, man. Easy to see two of them fighting where they were such close friends. But I know the reasoning behind it is because uh, May is trying to save Kislana, or Kia, Kiana Kislana from doing things that... She doesn't want her to end her own life, essentially. She doesn't want her to give up. She wants her to keep trying. She wants her to control the Honkai energy and then to really seek out the, the, the proper way that she should approach helping save mankind. <laughs> Not allowing the Hershers to win. That's hella close. Not really uh, the fact that she wants to kill her as much as it is she wants her to come to her senses and let her know that she's still there for her. Just cares about her so much that she only go to any length to help her. And that is one of the main reasons why I love Bride and May so much. of Sairai Island in the uh, Genshin, the whole like cloud formation and everything. Again, right? I'm gonna clap you, but you still mean the world to me, so I'm here for you. Such a sick design. God, I hope they bring that character back. Yeah, that's right, I got my own dragon now. <laughs> Shit, dude.
That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Amazing animation. Next! Reawakening. Don't think I've seen it. 在這無邊無際的夢境深處,你望著面目全非的自己。Randall? gotta be Fuhua. It's the only like, hand to hand combatant person that I know of in the universe. And she looked hella evil. What the sword? <laughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's making me extremely excited to continue the story to find out what the hell is going on with Fuhua. <laughs> she looks insane. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> There's already so much mystery surrounding her for me. And I want to know more about who she is and like what her importance is to the story because I feel like she's incredibly like critical <laughs> to what's going on. <laughs> Dude, she looks intimidating as hell. Holy shit. That was awesome. I want to see more of that. <laughs> Give me more of that. What the hell is going on? Got her samsara. I don't think I've seen this one either. That looked awesome. Who's that character? Okay, so I'm guessing that's probably Fuhua, because that looked extremely similar to the last cutscene. The animation quality has improved incredibly at this point. This is freaking sick. Like surfing around on swords and shit, man. This is awesome. Tossing away the spirit bomb. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, that's gotta be her. That's a phoenix. That has gotta be her. Am I missing something? That is sick. Kamehameha. A flaming Kamehameha. Holy shit, dude. That was like some kill by kill level fucking animation. That looks wicked. Thank you, Kiana. 
，绿者就交给我了。幻境即将解除。That's from Hua. So was who she's fighting not Fuhua or is, is that a Hersher? 等一下，班长，应该还有其他办法。或许吧，但这是我的使命。She sacrificed herself. I've heard this song before. 赤原仙人，我没有说谎。我经历了太多的背叛和欺骗。班长，我绝对不会欺骗你。玉雪，只能陪你到这儿了。What the hell am I watching? 也都被我殃及。我很强大，不用担心殃及到我。There are a lot of people that I don't recognize. Just me. Again, I have no idea what's going on, but I still have chills and goosebumps. Just because it's so damn well designed. So she's saving her. That is damn sick. That is wicked. I am extremely anxious to get to this point in the story, so that way I have a little bit more information as to what the hell I just witnessed. Because <laughs> that looked freaking awesome, man. Um, I don't think there's much else after this, right? Seems to be like some kind of credit sequence or something. And I will learn more about this soon, hopefully. I'm gonna burn through these story quests as fast as I possibly can. I need to know more. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the next one, which I think is the last one. It's uh, hello, Fuhua. All right, I need to know more about that. And the last one is uh, Everlasting Flames, which again, regrettably, I've already seen. <laughs> and regret regrettably. I don't really know what uh, what's going on here. All I know is that it looks like all of her friends are in a tough spot. There's a lot of these mannequin things that I have no idea what their involvement is within the story. But I'm sure I'll find out. And uh, Kiana's got to save them. Again, animation levels are like beyond some of the best animations that I've seen. They put a lot of work into this. Roasted. Oh, 
Not even her Hersher power is enough to overcome him. I don't remember that. I really hope that that is not the <laughs> death for those characters. The girl's been through enough loss, she doesn't need any more. Enter Himiko. She always appears in the bleakest moments. So you know just how important she is to Kiana. We got the animation, man, top notch. I absolutely love how they do like the uh, like the three D s backgrounds. Um, really reminiscent of like Demon Slayer and stuff like that. I, I absolutely love it when they pull off that kind of stuff with uh, anime. It looks so sick. Father son Kamehameha. vocalists as well. Awesome voice. So does this blade have each of their cores? It's like the damn Ultima weapon or something. She looks so damn badass, man. I think she was like the Hersher of Flames or something because the banner just ended and regrettably I didn't get her. I was trying to pull as much as I possibly could. But uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get my copy of the, uh, the Hersher of Flames. The same pose as Himiko. I need to get to this point in the game. I absolutely need to catch up because I have got to see everything and I've got to learn everything. So that way I know everything that's going on and I want to learn more about this damn universe. Holy shit, Mahoyo. Oh, man, <laughs> that is absolutely incredible.
Holy crap. That is gonna do it for my reaction to the Honkai 3rd animations. I, I'm just completely blown away, man. I've gotta go and play this game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the reactions, don't forget to give the video a like. Please subscribe if you guys want more Honkai Impact related content, because I'm planning on hopefully streaming the game in the near future. If you guys like to see that, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, if this is anything to say in terms of what we're to expect with Genshin Impact, we are in for one hell of a ride. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Peace.